Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the post game show. Hmm. Before before we go on and talk about last night's game, about ten minutes ago we got some breaking news. Um, Jets wide receiver coach Miles Austin suspended for one year violation gambling. So when it rains, it pours in Jetland. Like we needed this on top of the fact that we're betting 90 on, betting on jet games. Playoff. What's that? Betting on jet it, games. It, does, it doesn't say that's right now. They're gonna update the story. This just came down about ten minutes ago, and uh, yeah, when it rains, it pours. And don't tell me. And, and we're repeating ourselves, and we've said this over and over again. For you young jet fans, follow the older jet fan. He knows he'll lead you in the right direction. Uh, yeah, it's you know it's over, right? It's over. Yeah, you know what, Kev? There, there's the speculation and the glimmer of hope. We're ten percent alive, but a, no, a team... no, no, no. The quarterback. It's over. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. over. Yeah. It's yes. over. It's yes. Over. yes, yes, yes. And you know what, Kev? I'm going to keep repeating this until we until we get a franchise quarterback. Now, I know we thought we hit it with Pennington. I thought we hit it with Sanchez. We thought we hit it maybe with Gino. We thought mm-hmm. we hit it with Sam. But the one mm-hmm. thing I'm going to say, I'm going to keep going back because I believe, and I believe, and I'll say this until I, I, till I guess I, I die tomorrow or whenever I die, I would have still loved to see Sam with these weapons. Sam had no weapons. I'm going to keep repeating this, Kevin, until someone comes on our show or or tells us in the comments why I'm an idiot. If Sam had these weapons, I think we're 110 times better than we are with I Sam. Hear that. I mean, hey, hey, how can you not agree? You know, I mean, I, you got to think maybe it's a possibility. Yeah. So. Think about it. When you really look at what Sam had, his and, and I don't remember because my memory, I'm getting older, and my memory's not what it used to be. Was Crowell our lead running back under Sam Donald? Who was our running back with Sam Donald? Wasn't the kid we got from the Browns, Crowell? Wasn't that his name? Mm, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, you see? You're trying to remember. It was only three right. years ago. We're trying to remember. Who was our wide receiver? He also had a C in his name, went to a, another team. We both mm-hmm. liked him. He was a good slot receiver. What was his name? Do you remember? No. Darryl, this was Sam's remember. Exactly. Three years, we don't remember. These were Sam's weapons. But yet, every, and, and, and I'm going on a rant here because I got mocked. Sam sucked. Crowder, Sam Crowder, no Crowder, Crowder. 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 Yeah, Crowder. That was our best receiver. That was our yeah. best receiver. Sam sucked. Sam seeing ghosts. Sam is horrible. This Zach Wilson does not look any better than if I was quarterbacking. Horrendous. Horrendous. 92 yards. 92 yards. This is how our Christmas went out. We lose Nine four for in a row. 18 for 92 yards. Yeah. And, Tell him, and, and took three sacks for a, for a total loss of 21 yards. And we you we, we, we go backwards. Yeah. Give them all the numbers. Give them all the numbers. Strevler comes in, goes 10 for 15 for 90 yards. All right. Yeah. I, I, which leads me to the next question. Why didn't you do that at halftime? You agree. 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 What did you, what did you, what did you give this? Lost deer in the headlights. A guy, another uh, another two series. I don't understand. Here's my thinking, Kevin. If I oh, and I always back up what I say by saying I only speak as a fan. I'm not an X's and O's guy. I think they left him out there because Sala and Joe Douglas has to die with this kid. They have to take the sword for this kid. And what was his what was his quarterback rating? Five point two. Kevin, I listen. I'm going to be honest with you. We spoke a couple of times last night, and at one point, for the first time 
in 14 games, 15 games, I actually decided to just keep the TV on and do other things because I knew and I leaned over to my company and I said, when we didn't score on that strip sack by Quinnen Williams, God bless Quinnen, or we would have had no points last night. And right. we didn't score that touchdown. I looked over to my company and I said, I know, you knew right Game there. over. Yes. Game yes. over. When our star quarterback, the... go ahead. Lost. Look, look, lost, lost, what, what, where? Oh, uh, 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 you can't pick up a, a blitz. Yeah. You can't pick up a blitz that a high school quarterback yeah. could see coming. When you, you don't even know he, you don't even know he's there. When you, he's right there. <laughs> Kevin, you could talk about this. Kevin, I could actually just sit here and you could say all you want, and my head's all night going to go like this to you because I can't argue anything. I mean, a guy from the practice squad that's never taken an NFL snap in his life, yeah. like a you know a regular season one, yeah, shows you up. Yeah, and you're Kevin, the number two, I, you're the number two pick in the draft. Yeah. Now, Kevin. Let's be honest. No, and, we know. And, well, uh, and can we not shut the biggest game in I don't know how long? And you show up in bunny suits and Grinch outfits. That's another thing. What do? Yeah, what, 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 what are you comedians? Yeah. Yeah. Or football and, players? Kevin, yeah. And, and again, Kevin, you could talk. How about how, how about you show up with an attitude instead of a bunny suit? I don't know if anyone can hear this. I'm clapping. You could talk all night, Kevin, and all I'm going to do is this to you. Mm-hmm. 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 Because there's not one thing you can tell me you saw that was positive on, no. on all three facets of the game. No. Now, now, if Shreveler would have hit uh, 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 Conklin in stride, he was going to take that to the house. But, mm -hmm. again... What, and listen, I don't care if Trevor's not through a meatballs. He's not a, a professional quarterback in this league. We get it. But what the fans have to understand is that when Wilson's out on the field, there is no life to this team. Mm -hmm. At least this team had a little deal. Yeah, right, right, right. It's, oh, oh, cool. Trevor got out there. So that just tells you he's lost the room. He may not have lost the coaches because they got to sync with this kid, but he's lost his team. You've when lost Trevor the fans. Gets more giddy up. Said, there were there were sixty thousand people booing you last night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, Kev, I say what I want here. This is what we do. This is what you're supposed to do. I personally don't spend my money to boo at a game. I yell and scream at the TV. I'm not, I'm not faulting people for doing this, but what the younger Jet fan has to understand is that. We've been through this. We've been through this. This was our biggest game, and I'm going to keep – and this is how bad – this is how we have no history, no tradition. This was our biggest game since 2015, and we shit the bed even worse than we did on that field against Buffalo in 2015. Oh, you got tradition. We got tradition, all right. Yeah. Of sucking ass. Mm-hmm. Your leading rusher was your practice squad quarterback. Yeah. Your fourth quarterback, your fourth starting quarterback, right. your fourth string quarterback, whatever you want to say. Your leading rusher. Yeah. He was your leading rusher with 54 yards, nine carries. Don't, <laughs> Jet fans, please, don't listen to all the nonsense out there. This is not a playoff-ready team. We may have the pieces, but we're lacking a lot of discipline. Bam Knight. Wow, Bam Knight. Whoa, Bam Knight. Six carries, minus two yards. Yeah. This O-line has not lived up to anything in three, no, we'll say four weeks because we lost four in a row. Okay, but nine carry, but six carries minus two yards. Come on, you could fall forward and do that. <laughs> and it's a shame, Kev, because before we lost Brees Hall and AVT, we were five and two with those guys. Listen, I when it happened, when it happened, you can go back and look at the podcasts. When it happened, I said this offense has changed. That's it. 
that's it, man. It's the whole everything's going to be different. No, sure enough, you you did say that, and props to you. But what I want the Jet fan to understand that even though we lost those two games with Mike White, things look this looked like an offense last right. night. Moves, not, moves, moves, moves. Yes. 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 Last night did not look like an offense. Lost, looked lost, looked dead, lifeless, lifeless. How many, Kevin, how many as times? as gray and gloomy as the sky and the rain? Yeah, yeah, Kevin. I don't know how many times we've said this in the two years we're doing this under the bright lights when everything is on the line. This team will shit the bed. Yeah, man. Does not matter it, the it, team on the jersey? Listen, where was I? Did I have to hold up the egg again? You know, I yeah. did that. <laughs> you yeah. know, because we've been there, done that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I so, want, I so want to be positive. Like I, 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 I listen to a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of the the, the social media talk. And these guys, and these guys all talk. They all sound knowledgeable. They sound like they know a ton more than I do. But in the end, I seem to be. We always seem to be right with this team constantly dropping the ball. Bright lights, big city, all yeah. eyes on us. We had a chance yeah. to win a game, yeah. keep our hopes yeah. alive. We scored three points, and then the Jaguars hit us with nineteen points. And then listen, Kev, and, and let's be fair here, Kev. I know I'm talking a little too much. We ranted and raved about this defense, but when you let Trevor Lawrence go ninety six yards down. on eighteen plays. On, on our defense, stop with the defense now. Enough. Like he's Tom Brady, right? And you wrap somebody up and stop tackling with your shoulder. Have you seen Whitehead wrap anyone up in 15 games? Everything he does is with his shoulder. Who taught this kid how to tackle? And Reed has to be hurt because Reed does not look the same the last three weeks. The whole defense doesn't. No. No, no. And people, people, yeah, I heard somebody say, oh, Berrios has to go. And I was one of those. I didn't say he has to go, but he's not a key cog. Jonathan Franklin Myers is looking like the worst signing after, you know, we got him. He played well. We gave him his money. He fucking retired. And thank God for Quinn. See- thank God for Quinn, man. <laughs> and, you, and you know what, Kevin? Yeah. And everyone's going to tell you, well, we're still 10% alive because if this, this, and this happens, yeah, that's like me getting hit with lightning, right? What the hell? Listen, it's all about next year now. Yeah. That's so it. Can you, so can and, we and start- seeing, hopefully, hopefully, in a, in, in a week and two days, whatever it is, we get to see uh, Mike White again. Yeah. Can we please? But, but- because, because it's, it's over. It's over. But, but it's Kevin, over. It's over. And number two, it's over. It's over. Agree. But you know what, Kevin? I'm almost, excuse me. I'm almost afraid to put Mike White out there. Get, <laughs> get, get, get killed, right? That offensive line. I thought that Lakeland Tomlinson was a good signing. That turned out to be crap. Brown turned out to be crap. Fant is already out the door. You can see he's done here. He's playing not to get hurt again and looking for a payday somewhere else. And go, let him go. Let him go. You know? But I don't know if I want to bring Mike White in the next two weeks with nothing on the line. Well, what do you do? What do you who, who do you put back out there, Zach? Oh, Kevin. You know what, Kevin? I know this is silly, and I know I'm going to get mocked for this, but does it matter? Put the fucking Strevlock kid in and make him Yeah, yeah, let's see. Well, at least it'll, it'll be smoke. fun to watch, right? Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you something. For the next two weeks, I want to see Quinnen, I want to see Johnson, and I want to see Clemens. That's the front That's the front three. I don't want – I could care less about Thompson. I could care less about JFM. I could care less about anyway. Play the two rookies and see what you got with Quinnen mm-hmm. and leave it alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Leave it alone. Mm-hmm. They were missing a key offensive lineman last night, and we couldn't get to him. Seven and four. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're seven and eight. And we lost four in a row. Yep. 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 
and just coming. like the, just like the Favre season. But at least he blew his shoulder out. You know, there yeah. was an excuse. Yeah. And Kevin, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? Because you and I have always said this. I don't hear anyone else say this but us. This is why more people need to probably watch our show. How many times have we said this team believes in their press clippings, believes in their hype? How many times have we said that, Kev? Mm -hmm. Think mm -hmm. about it. Since mm -hmm. since this team, well, man, the yeah, the listen, you show you're showing up uh, to to a pretty much a playoff game in bunny suits. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not even getting. To, I'm going to get to that. But Kev, think about it. Since the since everyone from Dan Orlowski to you know uh, Ryan Clark to Pete Schrager, since they started calling us a playoff team, playoff team, playoff team, we've sat here. A ton of our friends on podcast, playoff team, player. We all drank from the Kool Aid. Since that talk started, we have lost four in a row mm -hmm. because this organization, for some reason, believes their own press, believes all the hype that people are saying. This is why Huzama is showing up in a Christmas story bunny outfit. Yeah. This is We're why out on the field, uh, Quincy Williams is in a Grinch suit. Like we're fucking fourteen and two, and nothing to worry about. This was an all or nothing game, and you're in a bunny suit. You're in a Grinch costume, warming up. Did you hear uh, Cologne on the post game about that? I didn't that? watch anything, Kevin. Tell us, tell us. Yeah, where where he said in a bunny suit and a Grinch outfit. He said you got to show up ready to rip somebody's head off. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. 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 I, Kevin, I, I'm he just said he was that. like, he was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. And Sala lets it happen. Mm -hmm. Because they all drank the Kool-Aid. They all thought, yeah, we'll be Jacksonville. Oh, we're eight and four. We're seven and four. Everyone thinks we're making the playoffs. We're a show in. Oh, we control our own destiny. This is where, when that happens is when you're supposed to get even hungrier, even determined, more fight to you. Let's all wear Grinch yeah, costumes yeah. and warm up on the MetLife field, you know? And, and, and Kevin, and Kevin, this is not only a kick to us, the organization, the fan base, but how about Brian Dable in 24 hours is probably going to win a game and be in the playoffs as a first-year mm -hmm. coach with Daniel Jones, who no one thought was a good quarterback. And hmm. they're going to go to a playoff game. And we're sitting home with pretty boy Saks Fifth Avenue. And we're going to fucking miss our 13th season of playoff football. Did we draft the, Did we also get the wrong coach? I don't know now. Sean Payton's out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you do next year, Kevin? You're the GM. You got to go after Garoppolo? You got to go after Derek Carr because if we're all convinced the pieces are Carr. there, I don't want Carr. Neither do I. But Kevin, what's the option? Zach's not the option. No, no, no. I mean, you you got to bring in a veteran. Bring in a veteran and keep White and to let him fight it out. Yeah, who's the veteran? Garoppolo. Yeah, Derek I mean, Carr. Uh, yeah, I that, uh, Garoppolo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore, you get, Kevin. You get you get you get Rogers uh, on a lightning on a lightning deal. That's that's a one year fix if that. You know what, right, Kevin? Right, that, but that's what I mean. Kevin, we said on this podcast when we started, if Zach Wilson wasn't the guy, and you felt that way from day one. I was on the fence. I I, I was more in his favor than you, but not much because I was a Sam guy. We're going to be sitting here three years from now in the same boat. And here we are, folks, three years now. And now we're sitting in the same boat. All right. So we didn't talk about draft picks in week seven. We're going to start this week talking about yeah, draft picks. Yeah, yeah. You go after Lamar? I don't know. He's going to want too much and we don't have it. And let me tell you something, Kevin. The nucleus is that that is here is going to be broken up because we need to free up some money. So mm -hmm. Corey Davis, Corey, I dropped one in every key situation in a game. Davis will not be here next year. I'm sorry. He will not be here next year. It's all right. 
And you know, back to, I hope you're sitting at home and realizing you need to be healthy because now this is going to be season four with you and we have seen nothing and we and need you, to see something. And, you know, let's let's like get into the particulars of the game a little bit. Elijah Moore, can you stop running backwards? Yeah. yeah. Can you stop running backwards? Yeah. When you catch the ball, can you go forwards? Yep. Instead of, instead of losing three or four yards? Five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Is that coaching? Yeah. Is that receiver coaching? Is that, I mean, can you, it's, is that you, do you coach that and practice not to do that? And then he does it anyway. I don't know. I think it's trying. I think, I think, you know, and trying I trying to make a play. I understand no, no. that. Yeah. But he's trying to turn something or he's trying to turn nothing into something. But again, in two plays, Last week's play and this week's play, he cost us yards, then mm -hmm. gained us yards. Yeah, yes. No, I know. Yes. I know. Yes. I know. I know. Yes. So I mean, who do you who do you want to see a quarterback next week? If you if you don't going out to Seattle, if you don't if they don't clear white, which let me tell you is a crock of crap, because to begin with, guys never played with with broken ribs before. Well, let me, ask, let me baloney. ask you. They let put a flat jacket on and a vest or something, and they go out there and play. Shoot them up a little bit, and they play. Well, I mean, you don't think he's got – he went back into the game. You don't think he's got less pain than then? Well, here, here, here to answer your question, you said who you're going to start next week, right? And mm. I said because in my mind we're out of it, and i rather just start Strevler. Because even if you start Zach just to throw him out there and see if he's serviceable for next year, which he's not, here's what's going to happen. We have to sit here on Saturday and Sunday and hope Miami loses. All right? Mm -hmm. We have to hope New England loses. Which, which, which is two possibilities. Yeah. And then you have to hope Las Vegas loses. All right? That's who they, just who, who, the who are they playing? Vegas? I don't have the schedule in front of me, Kevin. Okay. I brought nothing right. with okay. me tonight. Okay. Um, All right. Oh, they play Pittsburgh. So we have the whole okay. Pittsburgh mm -hmm. beat them. But, mm -hmm. Kevin, that's just to keep that 10% alive. That's just to keep that 10% alive. Yeah, and hey, Raiders are fighting for a playoff spot. I mean, as albeit far-fetched like are us, but still. still. Yeah. See, here's what's got to happen. We have to win the next two, all right? But Miami has to lose at least one of the next two to Green Bay or New England. They're not losing to Green Bay. I'm sorry, folks. They're not losing to Green Bay. Maybe mm -hmm. they beat New England. Okay, we'll see. New England has to lose the next two. Yeah, New England, that could happen because New England has a tough schedule. They have to play Cincinnati, Miami, and Buffalo. Oh, yeah, that's okay? rough. That's that rough. could happen. Yeah. And Las Vegas has to lose one of the next three, which could happen. The only problem is, is other than Pittsburgh, by the time the Raiders get to San Francisco, San Francisco doesn't need the game. And by the time they get to KC, KC might have the number one seed or the number two seed wrapped up where they won't need the game. Mm. So you got to hope that Pittsburgh beats the Raiders this week. Yeah. And that Cincinnati beats New England this week. Where, where's and that, that game? Where's loses. Where's that game, Pittsburgh? Which one? The, the you know, in Cincinnati? No, the I don't have game. I don't have the schedule in right, front of okay. me. All right. Okay. I didn't bring anything with me. Yeah, today. yeah, okay. All right. So you the bring, point is that you bring your bunny suit? Uh, no. Nah, no, I brought my camouflage suit because I wanted to camouflage the fact that I'm a Jet fan. You asked me. If I was at the game last night, and I got to tell you, Kevin, I wouldn't go. First of all, the weather was terrible. But if I went to that game last night and that was the product they gave me, I would never buy another, purchase another thing from this organization until they prove to me they're going to stop shit in the bed when we count on them the most. 60,000 in that stadium last night. You scored three points in the first three minutes and did Cock a poo for 57 effing minutes. And you want to call yourself a playoff team? 
Let me tell you something, Kevin. You know, you know, April 1st is April Fool's Day. We as Jet fans are the fools because every year yes. this team reels yes. us in and we think finally we turn the page. This year, I don't know how many times you and I said, turn the page, flip the script, no black cloud, everything's changing. And here we are again, no different than the 2015 team. When everything was on the line, we shat the bed. Your number two pick, supposedly starting quarterback, got benched for the last 18 minutes of the most important game you've played in forever. Yeah. And got showed up by a practice squad guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who was well, taking it? Close, Kevin. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let me yeah. want to talk about Tua's noodle arm. And I like Strzok, okay. but not, uh, we, we know right. he's not a starter. And you finally do that. That's another thing. You finally do what I've been clamoring for them to do for weeks and weeks. Bring him up, put in things like a Brad Smith, et cetera, a, 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 a Hill from the Saints, okay? Put in stuff like that, okay? You bring him in. Finally, finally, you're going to do it. What happens the first play? Everybody moves but the center. Yeah, yeah. And Kevin, Kevin, I used the word a couple of times on this show, quicksand. I said it to you when we talk, me and you, the word quicksand. How many times have we seen this team let one bad play lead to a second bad play to a third bad play? We've seen it when after Quentin Williams recovers that fumble, our offense comes out in the first play. I don't know if it was botched or if that was the call. Zach tries to run up the middle, all 180 pounds of him. He gets stopped. Then the second play goes for naught, and then the third play, he runs around like a chicken and gets sacked. And that's another thing. It's too small. It's like a poor man's Doug Flutie. <laughs> Shit, Kevin, if we had Doug Flutie, we win these games. That's what we I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, a poor, it's a poor yeah. man's Doug Flutie. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know this organization, this fan base is hurting. We're hurting for a quarterback. When I hear people say, well, can we get Sam back, whether they're joking or not? Or can we get Geno back next year? Th this is how bad of a fan base is hurting for him. We thought we had it. And the Zach, where are all the Zach Wilson sympathizers today? When all the must was on the line, when everything was there for us for the taking, nothing three points that if Quentin Williams doesn't get that strip sack Kevin we get shut out in our own building yeah in a playoff game more or less and Kevin I said it to you last night if I told you two weeks in a row we held an opponent opponent to 20 or under in our building you say we won the goddamn game we didn't you win these think. games no not even close we gave up 39 points in two games while scoring 20. Jacksonville's I mean, defense looked like the 86 Bears last night. And and they're and they're horrendous. And they look like that. <laughs> 86 Bears that we we, well, we playing the 86 Bears because that's what Jacksonville looked last last what, night. What did I hear <laughs> somebody say? They're like 20, they're ranked 26 or something. Yeah. Here's the other thing, Kevin. I'm tired. We're the, grown men play this game, okay? All right, grown men play this game. Men who do things to their bodies, which me and you will probably never understand. All right. Why was Jet Nation so confident? Oh, it's gonna rain. Trevor Lawrence can't play in the rain. It's gonna be cold. He's not gonna grow. Why? Because two weeks ago he had one bad game in the rain. Yeah, we're supposed to that? believe, you know. Well, we're, same thing. Same thing, Kevin. We heard everyone say, it, and I believed it too. Tua can't play in the snow. You know what? Miami gave that Buffalo team a hell, a hell of a mm. game in that weather. These are grown men. How does that look, Lawrence? Pick pick one and, and to pick two. Yeah. How does that look? How does that look? Here's how it looks, Kevin. It looks like a quarterback who finally has a coach, a quarterback coach, 
who knows how to coach, and you see his growth. You see his mm -hmm. growth. You're not well, seeing our growth. No. But yeah, and let's here, let's let everyone say LaFleur ruined the kid. LaFleur ruined the kid. LaFleur no. ruined the kid. And I don't Listen. know if LaFleur's right or wrong here, but I seen this offense go with four other quarterbacks. Right, exactly. That, that, there you go. There you go. Kid. So you can't there blame you LaFleur, people. No, no. Josh Johnson can come in and run the offense. Yeah. <laughs> Strevler can come in and run the offense. Flacco can come in and run the offense when he wants to. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And we know we know White can run the offense, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. So what do you do? What do you do? You move on. You admit you screwed up because of because of one throw in in a pair of shorts. I'm so glad you said that because that's all the – and how many times did I say to you, didn't Sam make that same throw at his fucking pro day? Yeah. Yes. Heaven, they should have kept Sam. Joe Douglas should have stuck to his words and said, I'm going to do for him. I promise you like he told his mom and dad and sold that fucking second pick for God knows how many other draft picks. Would have been better? Who knows? No one knows. We're never going to know. Would have been worse? No way. No. Yeah. No way. No way. No way. No way. And Sam. This, this, this kid, this kid may go on to, to be a, a, a good quarterback someday, but right now he's horrendous. Horrendous. Kevin, we saw Sam Donald come back from Mono and beat the Dallas Cowboys with nothing. Mm -hmm. With Rich with, with Robbie Anderson as his key receiver. Nothing. Like I'll go nothing. out on a I'll go out on a limb and say, like, you're one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen. You're like Ryan Leaf. Yeah, comparing him to Jamarcus Russell. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I could pull up the numbers because someone gave me numbers on that today. And I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. Let me see if I can find the numbers. Horrendous. I, I saved them. I mean, not just bad. Horrendous. I thought I had these numbers, but I guess I didn't save them. It's time to sit them down for the rest of the year. I don't care yeah. who plays. Stravler. Throw Flacco out there. Let him stand there and get hammered. I don't know. Yeah. Earn his money. Earn his money a, a little bit. But I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't watch. I I can't watch him anymore. I can't watch him anymore. Can you I watch? Him? I can't watch him anymore. No, no, no. I don't want to watch him anymore. I don't want to watch him anymore. What's the point? Listen to this. This is from Connor Hughes. The Jets offense with Zach Wilson in 22 games, points per game 17.2, passing yards per game 182, and total yards per game 274. That's with Zach Wilson. Hmm. Jets with every other quarterback other than Zach Wilson, points per game 21.5. That's almost four and a half points more a game. Yeah. yeah. Passing per game. Wait, wait till you hear this. 315, that's over 135 yes. yards more yes. if my math is right. And well, total the, yards is 411, almost, but not close to double. Or maybe, a, you know, 50% more. That's crazy. And this was our number two pick? I want to run in the game. It was posted that the Jacksonville Jaguars had 110 yards rushing. To all four. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, struggle. <laughs> well, that that that's what Salah said. That was what, when they asked him what was the point of putting Strebler in to get the running game going. Yeah. What? Yeah. All all right. Right. Listen, listen what? to this. These these numbers are from Albert Breer. Jacksonville. I don't know what point in the. Oh, it was, this was right at halftime. At halftime, Jacksonville had two hundred and fifty-one yards. To R60. 
First downs, Jacksonville had 13 to all three. That's Time like, of possession. That's like an NFL team is playing a high school. If you yeah. looked at those stats, if you looked yeah. at those stats, you would think an NFL team is playing a high school team. Yep. And time of possession, Jaguars over 20 minutes, Jets a, a, a little close to nine and a half minutes. You want more numbers here? Total yardage, 251 to 66. The Jaguars have yet to punt. This was at halftime. Horrendous. And you could see that they were, they were dead, man. The, the, the yeah. team was yeah. dead. Yeah. I mean, okay. Once you had the uh, Quincy um, or the Quinn and strip sack, okay? And once they saw there was no points out of that or there was three points, you couldn't even get close to the end zone. I mean, they gave you the damn ball. What was it? The 19 or something? Where were they? Yep. Well, I heard someone say today they were at the game. They were sitting behind the jet bench. And when the after the strip sack and the offense came off the bench and only put up three points and came back to the bench, everyone looked deflated like that's it. Yeah, we well, yeah. Yeah. And, like Kevin, that says a lot when you still have 55 minutes left in the game, 56 minutes left in the game, and you're already looked defeated. That says that's, a lot. That's but, but when you get a defensive play like that on the second play of the game, okay? That's where your offense comes out and goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> so then why didn't boom, the boom, boom, right into the end zone. Boom. Yeah. Seven so then nothing. wide in the floor, boom, short screen, jet sweep. Like, I haven't seen a jet sweep in ages. Everything is running back up the middle, running back up the middle, running back or, up or, the or, middle. Or, or pitch, or, or a pitch, which loses four yards every time. I, I feel like we're back to the Coslet days. Is Coslet calling the plays where it's so goddamn vanilla? I thought LaFleur was this creative genius. 251 yards. There was a pretty there was a pretty open game plan when White plays. Yeah. And and you we got a running game. Yeah. Yeah, I got one for you. The Jets have lost their last 30 33 games when trailing by 10 points at the half. 33 games. The last time they won one was in week 14 in 2016. They came back to beat the 49ers. These numbers are disgusting. Enough with we're a playoff team. Playoff teams don't have numbers like this. We constantly have numbers like this. What can you say, Kevin? And, what and, 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 say? and why do you always pick a national game to embarrass yourselves? Yeah, and, uh, and the fan base. And, the and loyal the fan, fan base. Yes, yes. Yes. Always. Always. Usually it's against the Pats, you know, to, for the yeah. real whammo. Yeah. But, but, you know, still. Constantly. Constantly. You know, and what did we say to each other on that last drive or whenever it was when the ball gets kicked out of Wilson's hands? Uh-huh. What? Yeah. 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 You ever see anything like it? No. 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 No, I want to see if I can find what I said to you. No, I never, I never seen anything like it. Yeah, yeah. I think I said to you something like, "That's how you know the football gods are not on our yes, side." Yes, yes, yes. He never, gets the I've first never... down, and the guy falls and puts his leg up and kicks the ball out into the Jacksonville Jaguars' hands. Mm -hmm. Not even on the floor, not even – oh, my. I've never seen any of that before. i never seen a man run into another player's ass. I've never seen any of this until I watched my Jets. Yeah, really, really. Uh, and now what, what, sit here at Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, with a lump in my stomach – because yeah, yeah. these teams that I have to root against are probably going to win because they know what's on the line now. They're going to show up. Sure. Not everybody comes and shits the bed, lays an egg, preps their pants. See, 
do you think under Bill Belichick, win, lose, or draw against the Bengals, those guys are walking out into the field with a Grinch costume on? With the bunny Christmas outfit from my Christmas story? Are you bunny. thinking the Belichick, they're walking out there? The Jets walked out there last night like they were 14 and 2, and everyone was afraid of them, and they had nothing to lose last night because their, their, their destination was sealed already. Like I said, it's like Cologne said. He's like, you're walking in like your children. He's like, you like it's like it's a fun time. You walk, should be walking in like we're gonna rip their heads off. Yeah, not on our turf, not on national. We're gonna show the world that we're here. And instead, you had Al Michaels. Uh, the same old Jets. You had Kirk Hurts saying, "Oh, you're almost the same old Jets." And yeah. this talk yeah. about who's better, Trevor Lawrence or Lawrence or, or Zach Wilson came to a rest last night because Trevor Lawrence let Listen. them – oh, yeah. And not only that, Kev, Trevor Lawrence led them on an 18-yard, 18 18-play 18 drive and a 16-play drive, which turned out to score 10 points, killed about 17 minutes of the clock combined, mm -hmm. and we couldn't even come close with that with Zach ever. I mean, please, I don't want to see him again. I don't want to see him again. I don't want to. We know what he is. We know yeah. what he is. Oh, wow. Well, the, the reset. He gets better. No, he's he, patience. Patience. Uh, uh, you know, the instant coffee remark. Oh, this is instant coffee world. Everybody wants yeah. instant results. Well, well you but know what, Kevin? You can tell when it, when a dude can't read a blitz that a high school quarterback could read. Like I said, doesn't even know it's there. The def the defender was right here, and he was still like this. He was still looking that way. He's right Why there. Is that? You don't even sense that guy. Why is that, Kevin? Why do you think that is? What What's your opinion? I, we know we're not X's and O's guys, but why is that? Is some it because guy, some guys just you you either got it or you don't? Well, my you question was you more: got, my... you got that awareness or you don't? My question was, is that coaching or is that because he played in a cupcake team with well, a cupcake schedule I, where listen, he didn't have I, to worry about shit like that? I think to an extent it's coaching, but I, I think for the most part, you got to have that in you. It's got to be there already. You got to have that awareness. Some guys have it. Some guys don't. Yeah, we always heard about this quarterback clock. You have to know three seconds. Boom, right, three yeah. Seconds. Yeah. And, and 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 your your second year in the in the league, you should be picking up those blitzes. Holy crap. Yeah. You should have saw that from the line and called whatever changes in, in the position. Right, the right. You don't yeah. see that guy creeping up right there? He's coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And listen, maybe the old line coach needs to be fired. Maybe Albright needs to switch them. Maybe we do need to blitz a little more. Maybe we should blitz every once in a while. To keep everyone honest, but whatever, Kev, whatever. But I mean, you but I what? mean again, what, what I'm my point about that is, you either have that awareness in you or you don't. Okay, agree, you, agree. You, you know, agree. it's not even it wasn't even his blind side. Yeah, it was coming agree. from his right side. <laughs> yeah, agree, Kevin. Agree, it's one Kevin. thing if your back. It's one thing if your back's turned to him, but you're here and he's there. <laughs> no, I know. But we're more concerned about voting for what matching costumes we want, the jet, what uniform, the black on the black, the green on the white. The, I hope they never wear green on green again. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care if this team wears pink if they fucking play like they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that we're just a quarterback away after what we saw last night, 19-3. Well, you, you know... You're an old line away, but in fairness, you know your best I, I, offensive right. lineman, you, in you my see. opinion, went down when your best running back went down. Maybe I the best understand. running back in the league. Went I down. understand, Kev, but you see, you see what you just said. Now you threw the old line under the bus, and hear me out before you you jump chomp on me. I get it, but you know what? Four weeks ago, when we were six and four, we were all. 
All right, the old line has banged up. We all kept saying, as old mm-hmm. line banged up, we mm-hmm. give them a lot of mm-hmm. credit. They're doing enough to keep us in. Now I'm hearing, we need a new old line. We need a new quarterback. I even heard someone say today, we need new linebackers. We need a, a new free safety. We need an, all of a sudden now we need everything new. But three weeks ago, no. we all talked about how great we were and how playoff ready we were and how this is not the same old Jets, right? Yep. Listen, when your best running back went down, your best offensive lineman went down. The leader of the offensive line, in my opinion, I don't think it's the center. I think it's no, uh, no. I think it's AVT. So I understand, you, but my point being that when that happened, and yeah, we lost to two good teams in Miami, in Buffalo, and losing to uh, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. We weren't blaming the old line, but now last night, and the old line's been terrible. Now I'm hearing, oh, we need a new old line. But all, a couple of weeks ago, it was give credit to the old line, no matter who well, they plug in. They're doing well. They're doing well. <laughs> in fairness, yeah, they I'm almost kept... they almost got white killed in Buffalo. So yeah, I, I agree, Kevin. But here's what happened: teams with big balls and heart of a lion. Knew what to do to stop the Jets with Zach. They did mm-hmm. never. And yeah, it, doesn't it, make up. Can be it. it doesn't make our old line look good. And it wasn't that good to begin with. But when they have to protect and run constantly, and teams are constantly stacking the box, that old line's box. not good enough. And stack Zach the is box. Stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Stack the box and make him beat you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know he and can't. He can't. And this is what. And- As much as the old line is at fault, and I get it, Jack Wills failed this. What else to do? Anyway, oh. what happened? <laughs> I don't know. You froze. I'm sure you heard me. You froze, and then there was no sound at all. But now you're back. Anyway. I think it's going to be like in two things or whatever. Anyway, well, however it works, it works. Anyway, I, I said all I could say. Like I said, the old line's at fault, but when they're stacking the box, and this is not a great old line to begin with, there's only so much they could do until Zach shows he could throw the ball, and he can't. He's not the guy. I don't know where we go no, next year. No. I, you know, you go, you go free agency. You have to. You froze again. Sit on my part, Kev. Yeah. I think Nothing the else to say. They're telling us to, to cut this one because yeah, they don't that's want to hear it. any more of our truths. So, yeah. Anyway. Merry Christmas anyway. to you and yours. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Please continue to watch, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends. We speak the truth here. That's all we know. And we'll see you next week in Seattle, right? Yeah. 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 Four o'clock on a Sunday. How dreadful is that? And you, and, and you got to go, you got to go like this. Yeah. And sit yeah. there and like, yeah. I don't know. Got a but better Kevin, chance. Let, let me ask you a question. Let's just say lightning strikes and we, everything happens that's supposed to happen. Are you confident enough in this team to win a playoff game, even if they got in? Depends on who the quarterback is. I I understand. Here's what I don't want, Kev. I don't want that to ha- happen, and I'll tell you why. I'm afraid it's going to hide some of the mistakes and some of the players we need because it's going to go to their head. We made the playoffs. And I also don't want to go to the playoffs to get embarrassed on national TV. Don't worry about it. We're not going to the playoffs. No, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> and, 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 but at least, at least, Kevin, we got football up until Christmas week. I, I mean, I, I hope I'm wrong, but I think they pounded the stake in the heart last night. Yeah, I think it's over. 
Yeah. yeah, I don't even know if this team gets off the ground the next two weeks, especially now with ten days off. Yeah, yep. I mean, you always gotta hold down hope, but yeah, but you see, you see teams like the Lions. We thought they were dead. They won five in a row. Hungry, hungry, see, get hot like at the, the right Jaguars, time. You thought they were dead. They now won four in a row, and now they control their own destiny. They're seven for seven. Yeah, they're in a weak division. But they control their own destiny. We were sitting pretty and bought in all the press clippings, and our heads started spinning around. Oh, they like us. They like us. All of a sudden, they became Sally Field. They really do like us, and they shit themselves. They sh- And here we are again. As usual. But how many times? How yeah. many times? Yeah. And here we are again, Kevin, talking about who's on the center next year, who's our center next year, Who's our draft pick next year? Do we move up in the draft? Does Joe Douglas make a trade to get more picks? Blah, 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 blah. And we all thought Joe Douglas was God. And listen, he gave this team the players. Maybe Salah and LaFleur are not the two combina- the combination we need. Maybe Salah needs to unhinge himself from LaFleur and bring in somebody with experience. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what, Kevin? For me, personally... Again, I don't know what the next two weeks starts, but in my head, last night was the final game, and the offseason begins today. And yes, the Jets have to yes, start looking at it. Absolutely, and, and you need a quarterback. Yeah, and that's part of looking ahead. And isn't that a shame that at one point we were 6-4 and four in the talk of the town, and people loved us and thought we had this great defense, and this defense last night in two drives with Trevor Lawrence watched him go 96 yards, and 88 yards. I mean, as, as much as I love white, how many trips to the red zone? And, uh, no, you know, what What was it, 10 trips to the red zone or something? Yeah, and no know, points? Nine. And, but, and, but and you know, one, Kevin, one, I'm, one touchdown? I'm still going to go back to the fact that if Berrios catches that goddamn ball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. That. Right. I mean, that's football. I know. Because, Kevin, if we're at least you and I, or me personally, if I'm going to kill Corey Davis every time he drops a key one, I can't let Berrios off oh, the hook. Yeah, him. no, no. He, he dropped the game winner. Damn. And let me tell you, I don't know. I know they signed him, they gave him money. Seems like he retired as well. I don't know if Berrios comes back next year. That's another guy I don't know who comes back next yeah. year. Yeah. You know? We shall see. We shall I, I see. want this. I want this team, whether it's LaFleur or someone else, when the season is over, to take in Mims by the shoulder and take in Jared Wilson by the shoulder and take in Elijah Moore by the shoulder and say, you know what, you three, I'm going to make you 1,000-yard receivers. Did you see the numbers on the Jacksonville Jaguars last night? They got Mm -hmm. two receivers and a tight end that might finish the season all with 1,000 or close to 1,000 yards. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Because Trevor Lawrence could throw the ball and Zach will Sure. Play. Right. And okay. Kev, Kev, Once Kev, in a while, he did. You know, he gets, he, he makes a throw and you're like, oh, all right, that was a nice throw and everything. But then, then the next six, seven, eight are over their heads in the dirt. <laughs> he, run, he, he takes a sack for a, for a 10 yard loss, you know. Well, Kevin, before I answer your question on that, and we have to teach our defensive coordinator, if it's Albright, if it's someone else, that the tight end is part of the team. Figure out how to cover him because tight ends are constantly open for 15, 16, 17 yards. Did you see at one point in the game they, like, ran the same play that the Lions ran with the tight end on the outside? Because we don't cover the tight ends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing. We need linebackers too. I thought we had fast linebackers, but we have diddly poo. It was about- like that same play that the that the Lions ran on fourth and inches there. You know, what what when the defense lost the game? Yeah. Yeah. No, I forgot I forgot I was gonna answer your question. You put out a question and I forgot. I said, let me answer it after I say this, but I forgot what you even asked me. I, I'm so hot under the collar, Kevin. I thought after 12 hours, 16 hours, I would feel better. I would calm down. You know, Kevin, 
The only thing I could say that when we lost to Buffalo in that final game in 2015, it was the final game. I have to watch this team for two weeks knowing there ain't shit to play for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And by tomorrow night at midnight, if those other three teams won the game, our chances shrink even more to almost not even being exactly minuscule, that my season's over. I'm yeah. actually looking at the baseball now and seeing how my Mets are doing and all the trades they made. I mean, it's never over till the fat lady sings, but holy, holy yeah. hell, is she, is she going, me, 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 me? Yeah. And Warm listen, up. I, Kevin, go ahead. I don't want to hear people say, oh, well, if we told you in the beginning we would have won seven games, you would have signed. What I what what I wanted in September and what happened as as of November when we were three games over five hundred is totally different. Why do teams get better as the year goes on? A la Jacksonville, a la Cincinnati, a la even Detroit, and Jacksonville and Detroit are off to your B tier, C tier, and we just get worse as the season goes on. We heard all the time, kept. Oh, the second half of the schedule is easier. Oh, the second. Half. Meanwhile, yeah, we okay. got smacked. We well, got maybe, smacked. Maybe that's what they thought too. Yeah, because they believe what they hear. Mm-hmm. They've always believed what they hear. Always goes back to that Thanksgiving Day. Leon has, you know, another national TV game like yeah. Thanksgiving Day, right? Thanksgiving Day, the whole the whole country's watching. Try not to make horses' asses out of yourselves. You know, Kevin, you watch enough football and you see the coaching staff, and let's say a play goes haywire, they huddle up, they talk. You never see somebody talking to Sala or Sala, you know. You never see him on his mic saying, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, he always seems to just be watching the game. Like, yeah, I was just going to say, he's starting to stand there. He's starting to stand there like Todd Balls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. dead, dead, no life. Yeah. You know, and this is a guy that uh, that was always full of life, right? Yeah. Well, that's what the New York Jets do to you, Kev. Yeah, they I was, suck the I was life just, out of you. I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna say that. They suck the life out of you. We love them, and I don't know why we love them because they suck the life out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The life out of me. Uh, all right, my brother. <coughs> I said we could do this for five hours. We could take every pinpoint, and there was nothing good. About... In, in, in short, there was nothing good about last night, Kevin. I don't care what all these people come out and say and how they say. Well, this, this, if this happened, done. Oh, kiss team my is ass. done. Kiss my, kiss my ass. That's it. Year. That's it. See you next year. See, see you at at, at the combine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, see you in March when the free agency starts again. Mm. All right, brother. Enjoy All the right. holidays. We'll talk soon. Merry Christmas, you guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for a great year. And uh, we'll see you next weekend. So yeah. it's been a good one. All right. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. Ha! Jet up. <laughs>